I was shooting too straight from a band for literally no reason. There's nothing wrong with me, Chi. What is wrong with me, Chi? Alright, cool to see is a scumbag. Like, there's no, no two ways about it. Like, the man is a scumbag. Hey man, call Shane. Hey man. So tired of these 30 IQ brain dead idiots who listen to people like Call of Shane. I have been doing some research into the cheats used by the streamers, and I have come across something very interesting. This streamer only activates the wall hacks when the cheat menu pops up. This is clear and undisputed, we can see this, here. Now, notice when the streamer crouches, then, and only then, does the cheat menu pop up on the screen. Only when the player has crouched, are the wall hacks activated. The toggle is when the crouch starts, not completes. Don't get confused with animation. You are probably wondering why this is significant. Well, let me explain. I have managed to locate some old alpha footage, from the hacker known as Destroyer2009. This is an early build of his cheat software for Apex Legends. Now, can you guess the hotkey that turns on wall hacks? Well, it's crouch. Crouching will activate the ESP wall hacks of the other players. Exactly what happens when the streamer crouched. So, how does this fit within the current Apex cheating scandal? Well, here. The hacker claims to have sold the streamers these cheats. He later confirms this, in a public interview, where he mentions these are private cheats, and he modified them, proving he is the cheat developer with access to the source code. These are all reasonable questions. So, there are only two options. 1. The hackers were able to use remote code within the game itself, and target this streamer. 2. The hacker simply used malware to access their PC, and activated the cheats. As for this streamer, known as Hal, well, he didn't even get a cheat menu pop up, or any text, and you would think it would be the same for both, if it was a troll. No, this was simply an accidental aimbot toggle, that I believe malware switched up his toggle, and he pressed the wrong one. That is my personal opinion, not a fact, just an opinion, as I do not have enough information, to draw solid conclusions. Meanwhile, I decided to run a live 24-7 broadcast, covering all the updates. I titled it, The Apex Cheating Scandal. This didn't go down well with Apex Legends, as the leading security analyst was not happy with my broadcast. Well, too bad. As more coffee arrived, I decided to touch on some of my previous work, to help double down on my theory. It's absolutely possible, these streamers have downloaded software, and they have become infected with a backdoor. Working with remote access was a big part of my work, and I would create dolly drones for honey traps. This is when I create a fully functioning desktop, but everything is fake. Fake photos, videos, school projects and more, hoping a hacker will connect and attempt to blackmail the user. The desktops would behave like a real machines, but completely virtual. Hackers would connect to these, and they could do literally anything, but of course within the parameters of the honey trap. The Trojans would often be distributed across file sharing sites, like LimeWire or WinMX. And anyone that remembers this will remember this famous sound. So I just want to jump in here real quick to ask all of the viewers watching this content to like and share the video. Simply clicking this button that kind of looks like a thumbs up, well, it's a huge help. And if you want to become a member and join the Call of Fame Resistance, this is for you. So yeah, big thanks, and enjoy. Oh, one last thing, if you want to subscribe, hit this button, it's free, go on. I know you want to. Some time ago, I called out the male streamer Mizu, for competing in the female-only league. He pretended to be a female, as he was not able to compete in the actual CDL, which by the way, is open to both men and women. Here he is, explaining how great they are, as he commands the female league with his mighty KD. Well, uh, honestly, like what it feels like, especially like it feels like really good because like it, it shows like what we can do uh, during like the whole like season. Because like um, in a way we ha we don't really have like as much traps as other teams. Uh, we kind of started really late, and also we were playing with a substitute. Uh, shout out Gaps. Gaps is like literally goaded. Like she's a great player, but she's a substitute for our team because uh, Silly couldn't make it. So like we feel like really good because like we just be like arguably the. Second best team on the whole league. 
uh, with a substitute, uh, especially in the fashion that we did it, uh, like it kind of like feels good knowing that like we have the potential and that we can like grow even more as a team towards like the end of the season. But I wanted to get a better understanding of this, so I lowered my IQ and did something I never thought I would do. Oh, here we go. I decided to identify as a two-spirited penguin oh my God. to see if I would be accepted in the ocean as a mutual friend. You are definitely not a penguin. As I glanced into my new home, I was having second thoughts. I headed swiftly to meet the other penguins. Where are you going? Ignoring advice from friends. You're just confused. You're not a penguin. For today, I became a real penguin. Come back. Don't be stupid. Which seemed like a good idea at the time. This is stupid, he's literally gonna freaking drown. As I began my new adventure, I quickly realized this was a terrible decision. Even though I identified as a penguin, the reality was starting to dawn upon me, I absolutely was not a real penguin. And there he goes, gone. Meanwhile, Ricochet Anti-Cheat have finally been able to detect the cheat provider artificial aiming. It appears its members are already feeling the wrath of the banhammer. However, there is still no official word from the cheat developers. Another popular cheat provider interwebs, have recently received a cease and desist. They have decided to comply. This is what they had to say. Dear users, we recently have received a legal notice regarding our products, and we have made the decision to comply with the legal notice and end existing services. We know many of our users will be upset about this as they have come to trust our developers and community in the time we have been around. We wish there was another way to deal with this situation, but sadly, we don't have many other options available. We thank you for the years of support. They were recently detected some time ago, just before the World Series of Warzone Global Finals. This caused many Warzone streamers to pull out, and some, deliberately losing to avoid attending the LAN. The ones that did attend, as we all know, played absolutely terrible. They were all terrified to move around the map, and decided to just hide behind riot shields. All of these quote-unquote, movement demons, were all hiding. Joe hid inside of a chicken truck, for around 7 minutes. while others were panicking and headed directly for the water. The entire thing was embarrassing and riddled with corruption and match fixing. Do you have any idea who this person is on the left, standing next to Aiden? This is Aiden's head moderator, buying cheats from engine owning. The entire streamer scene is riddled with cheating. But, this is not surprising to me. When Warzone streamers like Aiden, use cheats to pretend they are better than they are, of course simps are going to buy cheats to try and be as good as them. I hold high-profile streamers directly responsible, for the cheating problem in Warzone. Make no mistake, Aiden's head moderator has been cheating the entire time, while scamming others in wager matches. This same moderator, banned people for asking questions about Aiden's suspicious gameplay. But Aiden just keeps sending this cheater free gifts. Here is Joewo and Symphony, trying to pretend they are amazing players while playing Warzone Mobile. They are pretending they are playing on an iPad like everyone else. But then Joewo slips up, and mentions they are playing with controllers. That's what I'm saying, we're out here dropping bangers in Verdansk again like it's... We're playing on iPads on LAN. Look, it's 2020, and on top of that, win streak. you're wearing controllers, so I mean... You just can't fix stupid. Remember, these are Warzone streamers, of course they will be playing with controllers, and battering little children, that are playing with standard mobile controls. I reached out to Joewo and asked him to run Guardian for two days. He refused and ignored my request. I have provided excellent evidence, but Call of Duty, just turned the other way. Take a look at you and me 
Are we too blind to see? Do we simply turn our heads and look the other way? Well, the world turns.